Right, convex lenses. You can tell it's a convex lens because it looks sort of convexy. And also it's a converging lens. We get marks for calling it a converging lens. Right, before the simulation runs, you need to make sure you've got principal rays on. Put marginal rays on it, slightly different. I'll explain why in a minute. No rays makes no sense. So principal rays. Um, at some point you might want to put many rays on, because that looks cool, but it's a bit confusing. So, principal rays, that's it. We start with uh, an object here, which is beyond the focus. These are the two foci of the lens, uh, in front and, and uh, behind. So there's an object uh, beyond the focus of the lens. Now you can pick this object up and change it, and move it around. As you can see, you've got three construction rays there. Those are the three construction rays you're going to have to learn how to draw. Don't be worried here when the line, uh, the construction ray goes outside the apparent diameter of the lens. That lens is just there as a diagram. So your first one then, your first construction weight ray always goes parallel to the center line. That's the center line. Construction ray is going parallel to the center line. It's hitting the lens, or not in this case, and it's being refracted, focused, converged through the focus and beyond. The second ray is going all the way through the center of the lens and is completely uninterrupted. Um, I don't like using that one particularly. It, it does tend to confuse. So um, I just go with the third of the principal rays. That's the one that's going through the fo focus on the near side. It's hitting the lens and it's going to come out as a parallel ray of light. And it doesn't matter where you put this object now, you're going to end up with those three at some point converging on the other side of the lens. Now the point where they converge is where the image is formed. In this case, it's a real image. So what it's saying is for distant objects, the distant objects in a convex lens, um, you end up with, smaller than normal size, inverted real image, i.e. you can get it on a screen. If you really want to put a screen in, you can uh, click on here and it goes, hey look, there's a screen. Um, uh, but I don't think that's as good. Okay. Add a little play with that. It doesn't matter if it's below or above, you still get that inverted image. Right, as you start to move closer to the focus, your image size increases. And in fact, at the focus, the image is going to get really strange. It's going to get huge. Um, when you move, when you move inside the focus, uh, it, it changes uh, quite considerably. You change from a real image on the opposite side of the lens to a virtual image on the same side of the lens. So you have to make sure here, if you want to uh, simulate that, you've got virtual image clicked on, which I haven't earlier. Right, so as we move the object inside the focus, look at the construction rays, suddenly, Suddenly a virtual image appears. Let's just do that again. Outside the focus, you have an inverted, and for a distant object, a diminished um, real image. As you move inside the focus, it becomes like a magnifying glass with your eye over here. When you look into a magnifying glass, you're looking at a real object, which is inside the focus of that converging lens. Um, and your brain perceives this virtual image. And as you can see, it's the right way up, just like we see in a magnifying glass. It's magnified, just like we see in a magnifying glass. And the closer you move to the actual focus, the larger the object is, uh, sorry, the larger the image is. Uh, we can't quite see it at the focus. Huh? If you move it really close to the lens, it becomes more or less of the same size. Okay, let's have a look at the construction rays. Now for this one, I want you to forget the top one, uh, which I think is very confusing. So let's just go with line parallel to the center line. That's always the first one we do, which is refracted through the focus um, and carries on. 
And in this case, the center line one, the one that passes through the center of the lens, completely unrefracted. Now, on this side, these, these two rays of light are never, ever going to meet because they're diverging. So what the brain does is it tracks back to where it appears those rays are coming from, the origin of them. And that's where your brain perceives that virtual image to be. We know it's a virtual image because, well, it, it's not formed by the convergence of real rays of light. It's formed by your, your brain's um, idea of where that light has come from. So, in summary, distant objects in a converging lens form real, inverted, diminished images. Near objects, objects inside the focus of a converging lens, form virtual, magnified um, uh, images that are the right way up. Okay, here endeth the interactive lesson on converging lenses. This simulation can be reached. Well, if you go to the uh, if you go to the website, you can get the uh, address. Um, you can change your radius, your curvature radius of the lens. That's always worth a lap. Uh, refractive index, that's the amount of light it is, or the, the amount it bends the light. And you can change the diameter of the lens, which is again, very nice. Have a little play. There's screens, there's a ruler, if you're stupidly nerdy. Um, and you can show guides as well. Uh, let's not worry about that. You can even change the object. Woohoo! Look, it's a star, everybody. It's a star. Um, let's just go back to. Oh, no, smiley face! Smiley face! Uh, many rays on smiley face. Look! Whoa. Same principle applies though. Distant smiley face, small inverted smiley face. Upside down small inverted smiley face. Inside the focus. Virtual smiley face, huge smiley face. Let's change the object again. Oh look, arrow, arrow thingy. There we go. Uh, that's boring. Uh, change object again. Oh, we're back to pencil. So, uh, oh, it's cool, isn't it, with the mini rays? So, real, virtual, real, virtual. Have a play. Go to the website, get the simulator, have a play. Um, that's me finished. Bye-bye.